Hey everyone, so I probably sh don't need to make this video, but I'm going to anyway. Um, so, you probably noticed that I keep um, getting limit breaks. Uh, like, well, like I've got everyone's limit breaks, like level, at least level 3 limit breaks, like relatively early. Uh, that's due to uh, me grinding a bit, obviously, but I, I always like to um, level up my limit breaks as quickly as possible, so when it's time to get the ultimate limit break, I can automatically put it on. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about K-Safe's. Uh, K-Safe is my last uh, Pi member to get um, their, like, well actually, actually K-Safe um, doesn't have a level 3 limit break, he only gets one more limit break after this, and that's only by killing 40 enemies. So, in this video we're just going to show you exactly where I grind. It is actually in this very spot, uh, right uh, across from Fort Condor. So, f to make this as quick, do this as quickly as possible, um, say... Um, obviously Kate Sif doesn't need to use Limit Breaks, because, um, uh, he only has level 2, even though it says there's uh, level 3 and level 4. He only has a level 2 Limit Break after level 1 but by killing 40 enemies, so that's very easy to do, right? But, um, say you're leveling up, uh, Aerith, for example, when you're trying to get all the all her limit breaks you have to use uh, healing wind like a certain amount of times and then you have to kill a certain amount of pe uh, enemies to get to like level two so the best way to do this and it's a lot faster if you have um, if you level up error first um, due to this um, fury brand like if you try to level up um, someone's limit break, but and all they have to do is use the limit break like a certain amount of times. Aerith helps out really um, a lot due to this. It it uses her limit break to give to everyone else, so that's a very easy way to gain a limit break. And and uh, note you want to have Fury on as well to gain even faster. So you literally just run in this patch of grass. Uh, if you're trying to level up the limit break, you just um, sit there and take the hits till your limit break's full, and you just do a certain amount of times. But um, if you're trying to just kill enemies, the best way to do it is use ma uh, Matron Magic enemy skill because it's very cheap to cast, and you can. And uh, in this, in this, you always fight uh, three to five enemies. Actually, sometimes you only fight two, but that's a very rare case. But a lot of the time, you just fight five of these guys, and you can um, get your kills as quickly as possible. It takes literally probably about ten minutes, and this is how I'm kind of over leveled, and I'm I have everyone's limit breaks except from Kate Sips. Okay, you didn't see that, but he learned uh, slots, and that is um, his ultimate limit break. Because I was going super fast. But it literally takes minutes to kill, like, that was 40 enemies I just did, and that literally took uh, 6 minutes. With explaining as well. Uh, note that I did have times 3 speed, because it's on the PS4 version, but this is probably... Uh, in my opinion, this is probably the best place um, early game, at, at least early game, to uh, level up all your limit breaks. And you get a really nice early gill early on as well, and you over level quite fast. So you, sh you shouldn't have much trouble with the main story until like probably the very end, depending on you do side quests and stuff. But yeah, I thought I'd just make this very quick video. Uh, thanks for watching.